hi everyone today we will use a flatten command on 3d object to make 2d drawing so let's start how to flatten 3d object in autocad um, before using the command we will copy the object for making top view and the front view you can use flatten command by two ways first you can you click on express tool here click on modify and you can use a flatten object another option is you type flatten on the command prompt and you select the object make sure that you should always on the top view if you are making top view and uh, if you want to make front view you should be in the front view so first we make the top view here and we want now uh, you can see here the top view is ready now and we flatten the 3d object now you click on front view and we will use flatten object here and we select this one now now you can see the front view is also ready here and i will just give you example here if you are not in the any particular view here then your drawing will be like on as per the same view let's say now if you flatten here your drawing will be produce same as it is no now if i go to front view you see here the drawing here because we are not in the front view or top view or side view that's why so make sure before making a flatten you should be in the proper view and now we will use 3d rotate command and pick center one here and go to top view and we will align here in this way our top view and the front view is ready and uh, you can make hidden lines here for making hidden lines you have to add the add the hidden lines others and click load and you will get here a center line and uh, hidden lines i select center line this one and i select hidden line this one change properties and select hidden and make the scale 100 or 50 here and now we will use match properties and these two lines are also the hidden lines in this way we can use flatten commands to make 2d drawings you can do the dimensioning here if you want to do the dimensioning for dimensioning you have to click here and type d for dimension style here click on modify change the color as per your requirement you can increase arrow size here and you can select the whatever arrow as per your 
requirement text you can increase the text height here use ISO here click on primary and here you can use periods and change the precision to zero only still it is too small click on again modify make it 100 and this one 125 now you can see here dimensions are visible now in this way you can do the dimensioning to suit your requirement here thanks for watching if you have any comment related to flattening please comment in the comment box thanks for watching